Welcome back to the lunch series. Again, let us look at how the CGM reacts to a simple leftover meal. So um, here's what I put together from what I was already having in my fridge. I had half a cup of cooked rice. I had a little bit of brinjal curry that was there. Now to add a source of protein, I added two scrambled eggs here along with a freshly chopped salad which was beetroot cucumbers and carrot a lovely pink salad on my side so before having my meal my sugar levels were at 82 mg per dl which is a pretty steady and um, a great pre-meal sugar i would say so let me see after two hours how my sugar levels react to this leftover meal that i just put together So usually uh, when I take a meal with rice, I see that immediately my sugar spikes pretty quickly, pretty early. But here the interesting part, when I added my scrambled eggs to my plate, I can see that this portion of added protein and when I ate a salad right before my meal, both of which help to slow down this digestion of these carbohydrates and delay the glucose absorption. Now about 45 to 60 minutes into my taking my meal, I can see that there is a very gentle rise in my sugar levels. The sugar has come up to about 121 mg per dl and that is a very controlled spike for a meal that included rice. Now in about 2 hours if I notice my graph, if you notice how gradually it has increased and it is also coming down, it is not at all sudden which tells me that I have a lasting energy when I consume such kind of a meal as well. So this glucose level is also returning back to its baseline values very very soon. So this also means that leftover meals don't have to be very unbalanced. They can be just small portion of carbs, good source of protein added to it, a good source of fiber added to it can make a huge difference in your blood sugar response. A simple and practical plate and a smooth glucose cup curve that is definitely a win-win for me.